back to another episode of the Planet Coaster Theme Park Coasterland Resort. In this episode we'll be starting off by putting in some building kind of outlines around the area and I'm also going to explain kind of the theme. So the theme of the area I'm thinking is kind of like a research base kind of thing. So I'm going to have loads and loads and loads of these uh, small and large buildings kind of dotted around the two roller coasters. Um, as you can see here I'm just uh, experimenting with a few different options. So I'm just trying to see if I can get a really cool burning over the launch. I don't think that's going to work. So I'm just going to change up how this goes. And yeah, this is a sci-fi area, but I decided to do this uh, interesting thing. It's not really something I've ever done before. Um, so yeah, um, in case you see, sometimes it kind of just stops um, the time lapse for once. That's because I'm actually streaming updates on Discord now. So if you come over to my Discord server, link to the description, then I do actually uh, sometimes just stream kind of just the stuff I'm doing through Discord. Uh, next, I'm kind of putting up a gantry kind of across these two towers, and I may actually put the queue line for one of the coasters over this, which would be quite fun actually. Um, so, yeah. And then I also had a couple of support pillars. These are actually uh, road, road sign poles, but they actually work pretty well in the sci fi kind of thing. So, yeah, the next thing I'm going to think I'm going to do is just continue with those buildings. Uh, I added a couple of TVs, but to kind of like count three, two, one to the Lord, but I don't think I'm going to use them. Kind of have a little look about what kind of stuff you could put on there. So yeah, now I'm just going to kind of make it a bit more, uh, more sci-fi area. It didn't really work on grass, and then I also added some concrete underneath the rise. I think that makes it look kind of like more embedded in the area. I think it's quite nice. So yeah, at this point I kind of just continued adding a hot, loads and loads of small buildings. Um, building them up, adding more things to the outside. Some of them are larger, some of them are quite small. It's kind of varied from area to area. From building to building, I should say. Uh, as you can see here, this was actually quite a large one, and you can see I'm kind of getting rid of some parts each each time I go up a level. And here, this is an example of one of the smaller buildings, and another couple of the small buildings around the front. So it's supposed to be a research base, so I think that I'm really enjoying how this is coming together already, and I really want to see where this goes. It's over by the Ferris wheel, and uh, just another kind of another building that you kind of see from around the place. I think one of the things I am going to do, and this is something I discovered halfway through this, actually, is if you take a queue line, just put it into one of the buildings. Uh, in Planet Coaster, the queue lines have these kind of, um, these kind of like, you might be able to see them there, but they have like security check type things. Because they're orange, it looks like they kind of like paths you need to get into the separate buildings, but then the guests can't actually walk off them. And but for some of them, I actually use them as uh, queue line entrances. So oh, that was quite a nice little kind of thing. And that, as you can see, that's what we did. So let's have a look at some of the ride POVs. Uh, just before that, I'm just going to add the queue line for the train. As you can see, I did actually use that kind of security check path because I think it worked a bit better. Anyway, here's the POV of the, I call it the right side of the coaster. This time we've got a bit more theming around the area. And of course in the next episode I'm actually going to work on this. Uh, and I have actually managed to improve the frame, frame rate of uh, the game slightly. So you may see it's not lagging as much as last time, which I think is definitely really cool. So yeah, I'm going to work on the theming in the next episode. I think over the next two episodes I'll probably finish theming this up as the whole area is probably going to stay pretty flat. I also want to start getting a sort of a fence around the other side from the park because that's just kind of the thing I kind of need. So yeah, that was the uh, the right side of the coaster. Let's uh, move on to the other side, so the left side. Yeah, here's the, uh, the left side of the roller coaster. So you can see we've got the drop tower, the observation tower, and of course the Enterprise. All flat rides that kind of fit into the area. Of course there's the Ferris wheel, which definitely looks very good in the area. So yeah, also if you've been listening to the music, this is uh, some 
music I actually made for Space Base in the Lego theme park. And I think it actually works just as well for the sci-fi area here in Planet Coaster. So yeah, I'm really excited to see how this uh, whole thing develops. And yep, yeah. next let's have a look at the drop tower because this looks really cool. As you can see we've got pretty good views depending on where you sit. Um, so yeah, and the drop doesn't it doesn't look as fast, but it's actually pretty quick on uh, this one here. So yeah, finally just a bit of the uh, Enterprise. So I think this looks quite cool. It definitely looks very very sci-fi with the uh, cars being slightly themed. Don't know if that's intentional or not, but yeah, it still looks really cool. See, so yeah, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this uh, episode. I know it seems shorter, but um, it's an hour of work. I just sped it up a lot faster than I usually do. Just to finish this off, I'm going to show you a few screenshots from the area, just to show you how it's kind of going. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this episode of the Coastal Land Resort, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!